buys these uh, parcels of land and, you know, that then they're giving you a monthly payment and what are they doing with it? Are these people that, so you sell or finance and then they go and build, build, build on it or like who are you selling it to and what are they doing with it? Yeah, a lot of people are just paycheck to paycheck type Americans that aren't walking around with twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars cash. In some cases, one hundred fifty thousand cash, and they just want to buy some land for one day, maybe. Like one day, maybe I'll build a cabin out there. One day, maybe we're going to build our dream home on this lot. Uh, one day, maybe we're going to get an RV and park it on there. Um, you name it. I have some a bunch of land in Arizona. We just sold it to some college students that. They travel the country in their RV and they buy land everywhere they go. We've got doctors that land bank because basically they don't want their cash to go to inf like their, their cash is disappearing because of inflation. So every month they put a certain amount into land. And then what percent do you think of people that are buying from you are there in, in near where the land is? Or if they're buying land, for example, in Arizona, could they be in New York or you know, Florida. We've sold some Pueblo County land to people in Wisconsin. Uh, we sell a lot of Florida land to people up north during the wintertime. It's really cool how that, how that works. I'll tell you how we do it. We get on buy sell groups whenever it's uh, snowing in Dayton, Ohio, and post our Florida properties with sunshine and, you know, kids running through sprinklers and just like, like what else better to do when it's snowing and you're sitting inside and you're freezing and then look at Florida sunny land or Arizona land and sell it. We, that's how we sell that stuff. And it's really cool because we're only asking for, you know, twelve, thirteen hundred dollars down and three hundred dollars so, a month. So interesting.